In this video, I'm going to show you how to conduct a piercing correlation. So once your data is uploaded, simply go to the analyses and go to piercing correlation. And go ahead and select your two variables that you want to correlate, in this case time one and time two, and hit confirm, and then hit calculate. And here are your results. Uh, first thing that we do is show that the uh, Cohen's effect size and the size or the magnitude of that correlation as either being small, moderate, or large. And here's the correlation. The correlation um, uh, observed between time one and time two was significant. And a correlation of that magnitude of 0.80 indicates a large effect size. And then here's the interpretation. The correlation indicates that as time one increases, time two also tends to increase. And there's a seventh edition APA table. And simply come up here to click to download that document into an editable Word document. And that's how you conduct the Pearson correlation.